Hi, I'm attorney Greg Dell, and today I'm here with personal injury attorney Jason Macri. How are you, Jason? Good, Greg. How are you? Good. Today I want to discuss with you slip and fall and trip and fall accidents that take place at public supermarket. Now, I know over the years the firm's handled a couple hundred cases against Publix, and that you've handled numerous cases against Publix. But the most important thing is what actions should a person take right away, like immediately after they have an event where they sustain an injury while shopping at Publix? Well, you know, if a person sustains an injury while shopping at Publix, number one, they're going to want to try and get medical attention. I know that's what's going to come to mind for anybody. If a person becomes injured, uh, they want to be able to get some medical attention. So they should ask for help, request help either from any employee or a manager. Let them know. Why is it important to report it to Publix right away? Well, you need to let them know uh, right away that you've become injured. You want them to document it. You want them to create an incident report. You want them to document what happened to you and to try and identify uh, what caused you to become injured because ultimately it's going to be very important to identify what caused you to become injured uh, if you become injured while you're shopping at Publix. Why is it important to know what caused the injury? And what, what are the consequences if you can't prove what caused the person, let's say, fall while shopping in the produce aisle? The reason why it's important to know what caused the injury is because ultimately you will have to prove what caused you to become injured. We would have to prove that the defendant either knew or should have known of a dangerous condition and that they did nothing to prevent a person from becoming injured uh, by that dangerous condition. Essentially, the defendant needs to have notice. They either need to have had actual notice or constructive notice of a dangerous condition. It's on us to prove that a condition was dangerous. So if a person becomes injured at Publix, we have to prove that Publix caused that injury. And immediately after the accident, if a person reports it to Publix, what's the next step that they should do once they've reported what happened to them? You know, they should try to gather as much evidence as possible. They should try to determine if there were any witnesses. And if there were, get their names and contact information. Try to determine what caused you to become injured. Was it a puddle that was on the floor? Was that puddle uh, the result of a leak from some part of maybe a freezer or a refrigerator or some other area inside of Publix? If so, try to identify why it was there. Try to identify what it was that caused you to become injured and try to identify why it was there. And also, this is very important, try to identify how long it was there. If it was a puddle, try to see if it can be determined how long that puddle was there. Some typical ways that a person can go about determining that is look for some tracks. Maybe there are some cart tracks through the puddle. Maybe there's some dirt that was left within the puddle. Maybe some mud has gathered up. Maybe the puddle is so large that it was completely obvious to everybody uh, that it was there and that public should have known that it was there. It is very important for a person to try to determine not only what caused them to become injured, but possibly how long it remained there and if anybody else saw it. So if a person watching this has been injured uh, during an event that took place at Publix, what steps should they take in order to pursue a claim against Publix and what type of compensation could they potentially be entitled to? The steps are this. Right away they need to notify employees and notify the manager. Speak directly with the manager about what happened to you and ask to create an incident report. Step number two is request medical attention right away, whether it's call 911 or ask the manager to call 911 or ask somebody to notify medical personnel that you've been injured. Step number three is try to gather up names of witnesses and find out if anybody saw what happened to you. Step four is try to determine exactly what it was that caused you to fall and try to find out more about that. Try to take photographs of it. If it's a puddle or if it's some other dangerous condition that caused you to fall, try to photograph it with your camera phone. Maybe ask others who are around if they can photograph it for you if you don't have a camera phone on you. You must remember that ultimately it will be very important to prove what happened to you and what caused you to become injured and to what extent you were injured. Because without that proof, it'll be very difficult to make a claim against Publix and to succeed in that claim. After a person tries to do all those things, and a lot of things you said are going to be difficult for a person to do, especially depending upon the severity of their injury, hopefully they're with somebody who can help them do those things. And very often a person's watching this video and they've already, they've left Publix. They've already had their um, injury event take place and hopefully they've sought medical treatment already. 
Once a claimant um, or a person who's injured reaches out to you, what steps do you take now to pursue an action for them? I investigate. Number one, I investigate. I try to gather up all of that information that maybe they might have been able to gather. Maybe they did get a name of a witness. If not, I try to find out if there were any witnesses. I get a hold or attempt to get a hold of that incident report to see what happened. I'll go out to the area and see if that condition still exists. If it's a leak, see if I could find out where it's leaking from. Get an expert involved. Maybe that expert can make that determination. Ultimately, what I do is I investigate because it's so important to gather up that information. And then I put the claim in against Publix. I notify them that I represent the person who's been injured and that we're making a claim. We're making a negligence claim against them. And ultimately, what I do is I try to find out how my clients have been injured. And I present that to Publix and let them know. My client became injured due to your negligence. Ultimately, if Publix is unwilling to do anything about it, we'll file a lawsuit against them. We'll do what needs to be done in order to protect our client's rights. How is a person who's injured at Publix going to get their medical bills paid? That's a good question because a lot of people think, hey, I slipped and fell at Publix, they have to pay my medical bills, right? And ultimately, no, it doesn't work that way. If a person has medical insurance, health insurance, they'll get medical treatment, their health insurance will initially cover it. But the only way to get truly compensated by Publix is to make a claim against Publix through a lawyer and have that lawyer get you compensated by showing Publix that they were negligent and that you've been injured and that you require compensation. That is the ultimately the only way to get Publix to compensate a person. Now, there's a lot of people who you know, get injured and don't want to pursue or engage in a lawsuit, which means an actual filing of a complaint and having to go to court and things like that. Is it possible for you to assist a person who's been injured to resolve a claim and get financial compensation without having to file a lawsuit against Publix? Absolutely. I understand not everybody wants to be involved in a lawsuit. And so we don't file a lawsuit right away in those situations. We'll make a claim against Publix. We'll let them know that you'd like to resolve it outside of court. And we'll present to them everything that we need in order to prove our case. Hypothetically, we may be able to get the claim resolved without filing a lawsuit at all. And the truth is that happens in the vast majority of cases. But at the end of the day, you'll know that if Publix is unwilling to, to do anything to help you get compensated, we have that ace in the hole, we have the ability to file a lawsuit against them and take them to court if need be. Okay, I think it's important for people to know that <clears throat> who are considering hiring our firm that we don't charge any fees or costs unless we make a recovery for you, regardless if we spend thousands of dollars to investigate the claim against Publix and it turns out that we don't think there's anything there, or if we take the case all the way through to trial and we lose a case against Publix, you're not going to owe us any money. It's only if we're able to put money in your pocket that you have to pay the firm a fee. So give us a call for a free consultation. We'll let you know immediately whether or not we can help you. We'll have you come to our office or we'll come to you to meet with you to begin working on your case immediately. Thank you for considering us. Thank you.